right, so I finally got my rig together and I got the cooler in place. So we're looking at the NZXT Kraken 240 RGB. I bought this for a couple of reasons. One was if I was gonna be in this price range, I might as well get LEDs on my lights. And also if I'm gonna be in this price range, I might as well get a cool visual on top of the CPU cooler instead of just somebody's logo right there. It comes with instructions and this is definitely a little more build it yourself than I was expecting. So all in all, it does look like a lot of stuff, but we've got a radiator. We've got our two fans that we're gonna to mount to the radiator and we've got the brackets where we're gonna mount the radiator to the CPU. And over here, we have our RGB controller. So that's pretty cool. It's also got a sticky Velcro inside of there too. So yeah, wires, fans, radiator, mount. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna put everything together and then we're gonna come back and look at it in action. So I finally got my rig together and I got the cooler in place and I wanted to show you the cooler. So I've got it set to rainbow for the color of the fans and that matches my case fans. And if you check it out, I've got a little GIF playing. So that's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and open my case up so you can get a better view. And then if you look, you've just got these two hoses here that connect to the actual cooler pump right here. And then you've got this LCD screen. So with the slightly cheaper version that I have, you just get this little square in the center. They do make a more expensive model that has the LCD screen all the way around so you can get the edges and stuff. But I wasn't really that worried about it. I think it looks really cool. And it just looks kind of square like this if you do a single image or you do a GIF or something like that. But normally it looks fine if you have a clock in the center or something like that. You don't even notice that the LCD screen is only in the middle. And I think it looks really nice. I love that you can choose different options when it comes to the color of the fans. I love the white braided hoses. They look really nice and it's just really cool. Assembling it was really easy too. I just had to screw the fans on to the radiator here. So you just had to put those eight black screws in and then that attached that. I did that before I put it in the case. So now you're ready to go there. You then come up here and you attach the screws to basically hang the radiator from the top of the case. And then once you've done that, you use the four screws to attach the bracket onto the top of your power supply and you're ready to go. I'm gonna switch over and show you the application real quick. You have the cooling section, which will tell you the temperatures of your different things. So you can see your GPU temp here too, as well as the CPU temp, which is pretty cool. Mine is only cooling the CPU, but I get the GPU reading as well. And then if you come over here on the left, we have a lighting tab. And on that lighting tab, this is where you can change the display. So here I chose a GIF. So you can go and you can browse GIFs and you can grab any of the GIFs off Tinder, which is pretty cool. And then you can upload your own images. You just choose the image. You also have other options. You could do like a clock face. If you see over here, it instantly switches to the clock face. And then I switched it back to carousel. This is kind of the default one where it shows your CPU temp. It just does a good job, but yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.